Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. Today we're going to be pitting together two different Samsung Galaxy Note 8 devices and we're going to make them go head to head with the Geekbench as well as Antutu Benchmark. So we're going to see which one of these two here is able to outperform the other. Now over here on the left hand side, this contender is the Snapdragon processor on the Sprint network. This one right over here is the global unlocked version that is running the Exynos processor. So what I want you guys to do right now is go below the video and write your bids or your comments on which one will outperform the other one. If you think one of them might do good in the single core versus maybe the multi-core, make sure you guys go out there and write your comments below. Let me know any type of a scores if you've watched any other type of videos, or if this is your very first time in watching this video and you, and you have no idea, just sit back and enjoy the show. So what we're gonna do first off is gonna be Geekbench 4. Now, the reason why I wanted to start off with this one is to let you guys know and also read the different versions. So the one over here on the right-hand side, this is the Exynos processor, the 8895. Octa core. You're going to have four different cores going at the 1.69 gigahertz. You also have four other cores going at the 2.31. Now, this one over here on the left hand side from the Sprint network, this one does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. It has four cores that will be going at the 1.9 gigahertz. And then the other four is 2.36. So, just by looking at some of these numbers here, which one do you think will do just a little bit better than the other? And let's check it out. So, let's run the benchmark. Now you can see that the one on the left right over here, the Snapdragon one actually finished the test first, but it went into the test second, which is pretty interesting because I was trying to hit the start button, but my finger was just accidentally just missing that little button. So we're going to see here, you know, how did they come out? So here's the single core score for the uh, Snapdragon version, which is 1877. Here's one for the single core over here for the uh, Exynos processor. This is 2016. So this one just did a little bit better for the single core. And then now when you look over here for the multi-core, you're going to have the Snapdragon over here, which is 6619 and then 6643. So the Exynos right over here, has won definitely as the overall score for the single as well as the uh, multi-core. So when you move right over here that this Exynos version over here, the reason why I believe that this one was able to finish just a little bit later is because of the memory. There's just a little bit more memory on this one over here versus the Snapdragon. So the Snapdragon only has 5.11 gigabytes. This one has the 5.31. So I think there's a little bit more reading happening on this phone over here, which was in turn the reason why it was slowed down, but it still had a better score on the top. So what did you guys think? Were you guys able to come out with your uh, correct answers on which one was able to go just a little bit better? Now let's look at over this single core score. So you got the 1171, here's the 1259. And then the fun one to kind of look at sometimes is when you scroll down through some of these, which some of them are kind of fun to read and go through. The fun thing to do is looking over here at the memory copy. This one was able to do 6.87 gigabytes per second. And this one over here, the Snapdragon was able to do the 4.5 gigabytes per, per second. And then when you go down even more, let's say that we want to check down over here for the uh, multi-core. Well, then this one, how it's able to perform is 10.1 gigabytes per second for the memory copy. And this one is 7.03 gigabytes per second. So your Exynos processor is definitely much quicker. So let's go over into the single core and how they benched out versus some of the other devices. So you can see here that this is this device over here. This one's this device. So even if you have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, either the Exynos version or the Snapdragon version, you're going to see all the rest of the devices it's able to surpass. But again, the Exynos was able to overcome it with the single core as well as the multi-core. And you can see it's quite a bit faster on both of these versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Also the S7, S7 Edge, here's the OnePlus 3, and then so on and so forth. So this right here was the Geekbench 4 test, and then now we're going to head over into the Antutu. Now, starting this test, what I want you guys to do is now write down a comment below for Antutu. Let me know what you guys think, who is going to win with this Antutu benchmark, and then we'll get back here in a couple minutes. But now I do have to say, looking at these displays, both of them are a winner in my book. Now the scores for Antutu is a little different when it comes down to these two. So Geekbench put this one right over here, the Exynos processor to be a little bit better. But then now this one over here, when you're looking at the 3D graphics, also the user interface, the CPU and the RAM, then you're gonna see where some of these will also come in a little different. So let's go over into some of the 3D. So when you look at this one right over here, the, the one with the Snapdragon processor was able to win this one. So when you check out the 3D and then also the 3D when you're checking out between the Marooned and also the Garden, 
the numbers right over here on the Snapdragon was able to win just a little bit more. Now let's check over the uh, user interface. So when you check out these ones over here, you got your normal data server uh, or secure. So this one is the 7976 and this one is 7673. It just kind of depends on which one of these is going to be just a little bit higher. So um, when you look at this one right over here, you're going to have a higher number for the IO uh, performance. And this one's going to be here just a little bit lower, which was probably the one that skewed it just a little bit more over into the Snapdragon processor. And then you're going to look over into the CPU. So the CPU, this one over here, the Exynos was able to win it just a little bit more, but also when you see, so a little bit, when you look at the performance, you're going to notice that the Exynos over here was able to win. So the CPU and the RAM was able to outscore the Snapdragon processors that's over here. But when you're going to check out everything else in terms of the 3D and all the different graphics along with the user interface, the one for Snapdragon was able to beat out the Exynos processor. Now, when you go off and you check out the ranking, so what you're gonna see is on the very top, there is the OnePlus 5. This one was able to get the 181,000. HTC U11 was the 179,000. The Nubia Z17, which I've never heard of before, got 177,122. And then the My Device over here, which is the Exynos processor, was right after that one. But it was able to beat out the Galaxy S8 Plus as well as the S8, and then so on and so forth. And then over here, it's the pretty much the exact same experience where those top three were able to beat out. But this, uh, the Nubia Sev, the Z17, I've never heard of that one before. So I might have to Google that one and check out what that one is. But this right here was the Geekbench as well as the Antutu Bench for the Snapdragon processor as well as the Exynos. So write a comment below now if you want to, now that we're at the end of the video. Let me know, were you guys right? Uh, were you guys wrong? Were you guys surprised? Uh, which one of these two do you guys have? Do you guys have the global unlocked version or do you have yourself one of the locked in US carrier ones that is using the Snapdragon. So let me know anything that you guys would also like to learn about any of these two different devices uh, so I can do future videos for you guys. And outside of that, if there's at any point in time in this video, you guys liked something make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also make sure you guys go below the video, click on subscribe or the big red circle right over here. You can click subscribe as well too. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later.